This is a short instructional video of how to operate the Rentair air purifier. And uh, we'll go through the different buttons on the display and afterwards uh, you will have an understanding of how it works and you'll be ready to use your Rentair. So you can see on the display there are six buttons. Uh, the top left here is the on button. We'll hit that and you can see the, the Rentair is now on. So uh, immediately you will see uh, fan speeds, you will see a display for UVC light, there is a temperature display, and then uh, there is a small bar indicating air quality from good to bad. And then finally, the bottom of the display indicates uh, the hours uh, it takes before you need to replace the filter and the UVC light. So uh, you'll see when the renter turns on, it defaults to an auto setting here. That means the built-in particle sensor in the, uh, in the unit will detect air quality. And let's say air quality worsens, the bars here from good to bad will increase and the unit will automatically adjust fan speed until uh, adjust fan speed up until it uh, uh, detects the air quality is good enough again and it'll adjust back down. I can press this button once. Uh, th this is the fan speed uh, setting. You then see that auto disappears and it's now defaulted to only run on the low standard airflow setting. I can press the button again and it'll go to the medium airflow setting and I can press it finally to go to the high airflow setting. If I hit it a fourth time, it will go back on default to auto. It's an option to switch the UVC light uh, inside the unit off. We recommend to always have it on, but it is a requirement in certain hospital settings to be able to switch it off, which is why it's there. It'll always default to being on when you turn on the unit. Uh, so those are the three buttons here. Uh, on the right hand side, you will see a timer function. So what shows the temperature right now, if you hit the button once, it will show eight hours. This is an automatic setting to switch off after, uh, in this case, eight hours, we can adjust that up or down. And that means when you come in in the morning, you can turn your renter on, you can set how many hours you want it to run for, and you then don't have to think about it for the rest of the day. Finally, as I mentioned, uh, we have the counter at the bottom of the display from, uh, you can see this filter is brand new, so uh, there are no bars here. They will count up towards 9,000 hours, and when they reach the 9,000 hours, the bar over here will start blinking. That's when it's time to change your HEPA filter and UVC light. And after you've done that, you press the reset button to reset the display. Uh, the button only works after you've changed the filter, so if you press it now, nothing happens. And that's it.